Today we need to get into people talking about V having a deleted kissing scene and what that is about. We also need to get into people harassing and attacking the actress of the Friends music video and possibly V having a reaction to that. And then we have some CCTV footage that came out that is very fun. So hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hate or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fan growing on Patreon and let's go. We need to get into some security footage getting out and what that is about. People were very excited to see this because it was footage that came out of not old stuff that was pre-recorded, but new stuff of V that is happening currently at the moment. So if you're unaware, of course, V is currently in the military, but they are allowed breaks and usually the weekends to hang out with friends and to do things. I don't know about specifically their training if they're allowed time off, but definitely when they're officially doing their service and they're done as a trainee, they are allowed to have the weekends off, I believe. So some footage came out where we see V at a coffee shop and we also see V doing photos with his friends. This was not posted on his official Instagram. I believe it was posted on their official account and people were very excited to see him having fun and seeing him with his friends. And of course, it's been such a long time since we have seen him and his friends having fun and seeing him like really happy doing something that's actually fun. One footage that came out went super viral was V in his military uniform and he was at Composed Coffee. You know how some coffee shops or restaurants, they'll have a TV for the menu and all that stuff for that particular shop. They had V on screen and it was his commercial. V turns to the camera and basically nods after looking at his commercial on the screen. And this was a cute moment because we obviously know that he has maybe seen the commercials all over social media and that sort of thing. But we don't know if he's actually ever seen the commercial in real life because actors are rarely ever sent the footage before it actually airs. Usually maybe the label will be sent that footage if that, and then they'll go ahead and just air it. So the last person actually sees it is a talent. So this is actually probably one of the first times if he's been to the coffee shop that he has seen the commercial. And this is also why I think a lot of times when you have a photographer or you have a camera person record things for a celebrity, people always wonder why the celebrity never asks to see the footage. And it's because they're used to not having seen the footage. Usually it's just trust the editor and the person who is creating the video that they're going to make the celebrity look good. There were also some fun Polaroid pictures that we've seen of V and his friends. It appears that they're both in a photo booth. He has his hair slightly grown out and he is a bit more muscular looking and of course that's very cute and fun. And then we have actually another piece of footage that came out where it seems like it was security camera footage viewing V and his friends. And he actually gave the peace sign right up to the camera. People were wondering if this was indeed a security camera footage or if it was just a picture that was taken that made to look like security camera footage. But either way, it's very cute to see the members being funny and having a great and fun time. There has just been a lot of conversation with V and of course, course, if we are seeing him out and about as well as his new song coming out, there's just going to be a lot of headlines and people talking about him. There were a lot of mixed reactions with the music video before it came out. Of course, people naturally thought it was really good, so they streamed it. But I think having a lot of mixed reactions before a release and before people hear it, it's actually a good thing. And as we can see, it worked because it ended up bringing a lot of attention to the music video. But one of the controversies that was going to happen was a lot of hinting towards a potential kissing scene with V and the lead actress. People were feeling like that was going to happen. It also felt like there was a lead up to it. I don't know if they would have necessarily put it in the teaser, but then putting the kissing scene ultimately in the music video would have been an interesting move. It would have gotten a lot of attention. I think it would have gotten a lot of people talking about it. But as we know, and as the label knows, it's not always the best to put those sorts of things in a music video. And it can potentially backfire and cause a lot more backlash than it could cause good things. A lot of people, even after after the release, we're thinking that there could even be a kissing scene that is deleted or there could be some interesting moments like that that would eventually come out. They were even hinting towards the sort of subtle intimacy that was happening in the music video and moments, for example, like seeing a bath with a lot of bubbles in it. So of course, this would be implying that they just finished taking a bubble bath together. But obviously, they weren't going to show that because that would be too raunchy for a K-pop star to do. Of course, K-pop does what K-pop does best, which is hint at these sorts of things because they know they can't outright show it or talk about it. However, would there be a specific kissing scene that was recorded and then deleted? I don't know. Would it be possible? Sure. But I don't know if they would actually ever even consider doing that, knowing the potential backlash that it could cause. I just think that the community isn't really ready for that and BTS and all the other K-pop stars have sort of pushed the limit of what it means to be a K-pop star already. For example, you have Jungkook who has sung about songs that have more adult references. So in their lifetime, will they push the limit even more and actually have a
have a kissing scene to show? I actually don't know. And it's interesting because this is not seen as a big deal in America. And when they decide to make music that appeals to an American audience, they have to consider their existing fan base as well as the new audience. And so they tend to have to find an in-between with that, and that can get some K-pop fans really angry. But that is just what they have to do. Bottom line is they're still respecting their K-pop fans' wishes of not having a kissing scene, at least right now. And so take that with the sign of respect and take that as that and not forgetting where they came from. It doesn't mean that the day they start kissing and showing that sort of stuff that they're disrespecting their Korean fans, but just understand that they are hearing the backlash right now or potentially foreseeing the backlash or potentially foreseeing what the backlash would be. And they're already saying, let's respect those people and not show that now. If you have not seen the music video or you want someone to fangirl over the music video with you, I will be posting my reaction to the music video over on Patreon. So if you're interested, please check that out. That will be linked in the description. We currently have a $1 tier that is open that has limited spots. But if you're interested in checking out reactions as well as thousands of other reaction videos that are already out on the Patreon, then make sure you check it out and join. Look forward to seeing you there. Now, because of moments like this and the fact that the music video actress for the Friends music video was even in the music video and was even doing these more romantic things and hinting those romantic things, people were wondering if she was even alive and okay. And this is interesting, right? Because how many of those people will watch the music video, think that it's real life and continue with their own delusion and start hunting down and attacking the main actress. Now, the main actress isn't this huge mainstream celebrity, so she's not going to have resources to protect herself and things like her address and her well-being could be in harm's way. And if people can find the address of a big, well-known superstar, they'll probably be able to find an address from someone like her. This is no shade to her and her career. This is just coming from a place to hope she's okay. Now, this is a big part of being a K-pop star and specifically a male one is understanding that anytime they interact with a female person or a female pop star, that the female person is going to get a lot of hate and to a very extreme level. And the bottom line is, if this keeps happening, the boys aren't going to want to create art anymore and it really is going to halt their career because how are they going to market or connect to a mass audience? They can't even have the other gender in their music video. They can't have a woman in their music video. They can only hint towards a woman. It's going to appear very odd to a Western audience. It already is going to appear very odd over the fact that they're going to have several female leads in a music video that are betraying a love interest in which they never kiss. V and the other members of BTS have never asked anyone to send hate over the people they collaborate or the people they work with. However, that constantly seems to be an issue over and over again over every single person that the members have worked with. And you would think that if the members are working with another person, whether that's an actress or a singer that they know of, that artist, the members have watched that person, that they have known of that artist and their work. They are big fans of that person. So for some people in the fandom to come and attack that person, berate that person, and really destroy that person in the name of loving BTS, that isn't going to make them look good. And not that the haters actually care, but that's actually going to make the BTS members not want to work with anyone that they love because they don't want to get that person hate. But also that's going to make that person that BTS ends up working with hate BTS. So do we for sure know if the lead actress in the music video is doing okay? We don't. But I think most people are thinking that she's probably fine and she will be okay. A lot of people online are doing lots of talking and will take no action. So I doubt anyone is going to do anything. We also have to keep in mind that she does have a boyfriend. So V is not her love interest in real life. And so I hope people will chill. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.